Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Joe Flash, and welcome back to another reaction video. We shall continue where we left off with As the Clock Turns Story Reading Series by Ken Do Studios. We are up to part five of chapter one, as you can see right here from the title. So we're nearly almost done with this, ladies and gentlemen. We got part five, as we're about to check out right now. And then hopefully in the next video, we shall check out part six, which will be the final part to chapter one of the series. And that pretty much will conclude the end of the series at least for now, since so far it's only been one chapter of the series, and part six is the final part of the of the first chapter before it's over, at least for now, and that concludes the end of chapter one. So we're not going to waste any more time at all and just go ahead and get right into it. There's really not much more left to be said here. Um, it's been pretty interesting. If you've seen my past few reactions, you know I've been pretty interested in this so far. It's been kind of a bit of an interesting uh, little story fanfic reading here. You know, it's kind of actually what I can imagine if this was to be a reality in the series, but, you know, still. But anyway, I don't really have much else left to be said. I'm just ready to pick up where we left off. Let's just go ahead and see what happens in this one, shall we? Should be another interesting one, so let's do it. So here we go. As, like John Cena and Triple H would always say, your time is up, my time is now, it's time to play the game. Let's go ahead and get right into it, shall we? As the clock turns, chapter one, part five, in five, four, Three, two, one, let's go. Or actually, wait a minute. Let me, uh, let me grab a couple of things. I'm going to grab my remote real quick in case I have to turn the heater off because, ow, shoot, stepped on my pan. I'm just going to grab the remote here because, you know, I have the heater on and in case it gets too hot in here, I'm going to turn it off. It's actually starting to get chilly outside, but I'm going to lower it down a little bit. Anyway, let's continue now. That's a little bit too loud. Always interesting with the intro. Let's see what is cooked up in this one. As the clock turns. Twilight softly landed on the path beside the barn door. Which oh, look at that. Had been mended many times. Unfortunately, not all things like doors can be mended with nails and steel. Twilight thought to herself. Twilight hoofed the door to knock as he did a year ago, but had only waited a minute before a hello pony answered the door. It was Apple Bloom, the sister of Apple, Apple Jack. Bloom. Twilight! The teen pony hey, exploded Bloom. in excitement. Wow, Apple Bloom! exclaimed Twilight with the same energy, if not more, as the other. She embraced like the Apple pony Bloom. in a long habit. You know, if I was to pick a favorite member of the Keeper of Sayers, Apple Bloom would be my favorite. We gather to assist okay, here we are back. Sorry, ad interruption. But let's resume. Unexpected pleasure? I thought you were running the Friendship School in Manhattan. Well, I was. But this here's for my big sis. I had to come over here and support her. She said that last sentence so matter-of-factly, she was smiling with pride. As soon as he did, though, Twilight noted for the first time that Apple Bloom was wearing braces. Braces? Twilight grinned inside. She could remember back when she had to wear braces. Although such memories were sometimes not pleasant ones, as she remembered all the name-calling she once took. Upon further thought of this, though, she realized that this might have been the pushing force into her not making any friends at Celestia School for gifted ponies. Or maybe at least one of the reasons, as she was also the bookworm in the school. Where is the rest of the CMC? Asked Twilight as she began to walk inside. Are they around? Unfortunately, they weren't so lucky. Some pony had to stay behind and keep the school running. We all decide the school can run with no less than two ponies. How exactly we figured that out is a story I can share with you sometime if you want it. Maybe after you tell me where Applejack is. Oh, she in here. Wait, she is not? Nope, she's outside. Well, I'll ask about the school later. I promise. But right now, I wish to see Applejack. Okay? All right, no big deal. Said the teen pony using a slogan for her generation. You'll see you wrapped. Can you imagine what it would be like if the Kitty Marker Seder started going their own ways? Because, I mean, 
you know, in some ways, like, I'm, think they, yeah, they were still together at the end of, uh, yeah, in the last problem, yeah, we saw them together where they finally grew older, where pretty much they made hints to that in one of the other episodes. I think it was in that same season, you know, they made a hint to where they found a flower or something from Sakura and they grew up instantly, you know, but then they had to go back to their normal age, but then they really became older ponies in the last problem, which was kind of cool. Um, I think it was Scootaloo who was running a class, whatever, and all that stuff, so that was pretty cool as well. But, uh, imagine what it would be like if the Cutie Mark Crusaders did split up and they went their solo ways. Would it be kind of a little interesting? Because, you know, they're used to being together for so long, it'd just be a little interesting to wonder what would happen if they did split up, you know what I mean? I think I'd rather still have them be together, but you never know. There could be some people that would ask the question, what would it be like if Apple Bloom, Scootaloo, and Sweetie Belle split up, you know what I mean? But... Let's continue. With that, Twilight headed back out the door. Near the gravesite of Granny Smith, she found Applejack and sat down in a lame position right next to her. They were pensively laying nearby, just looking around the landscape. Applejack's mane flowed with a gentle breeze. The somber pony was just listening, and all that was heard was the chirping of a bird, or a cricket. It was quack, and that's all that was left. There were no words to be said. No words needed to be said either. They just had to be. In this moment of time. Still got a feel for Applejack on what she's going through. Even if it may not be much. Honestly, being with another ever friend, since Granny Smith's passing, better. I pretty much can feel for Applejack the, the whole entire time. Was eventually broken by I know Applejack. how it must feel, you know. In a state, just ask I mean, who wouldn't be able to relate to how she's feeling? Twilight? What book do you have? I like the, the way the animation Latin. and the eyes are going. Looks pretty cool. Twilight felt a pain in her neck at this question. Those eyes kind of look realistic. I kind of like the animation for the eyes. Her feel flushed and awkward. This is F SFM it animation, was the right? Of shock. Never had Applejack asked her about books before. Looks a little updated because the Twilight wings they look a little different, and then the little hooves moment, as well. She really didn't have an answer. It's kind of more like what the Generation Five ponies I'm I think had. I'm accustomed to a hard work like day, and I do it for people who need it. I'm starting to wonder if all there is in the world is pain and the constant pressure of what is expected towards you. Yes, helping people out makes me happier than a pig in a mudslide, but this feeling always passes. Tears once again welled up in the pony's eyes. I was content before she passed, why? Now I have the wanderings of a no pony. <sighs> it's okay. Sorry, my legs to falling asleep. Breathe. Applejack. She leaned in to give her friend a hug while Applejack kept blubbering. Everything I've come to work hard for just decays and rots. What of Goldie Delicious? She collected a whole lot of things. Not a one of them useful now. Hey, Jay. I'm scared, Twy. I... I just need a minute. Take as long as you need. I'd be scared, too. Here. I'd be scared if my Reply parents were gone Twilight right now. I, would, I can't even imagine my life without them yet. And if I was able like to live by myself right now, Jesus would be scared. Twilight finally spoke. I still have a lot you of know, learning to do before I'm ready to do all that stuff that by myself. I That's why I refuse to leave my parents while I'm still living with them. And I don't them. think it would help in this situation. However, over the years, as I come to know you, we stuck through with it. We laughed. We cried. Heck, we even took scars. Remember that one? We have made many memories together. Good and bad. More importantly... We did it as friends. That's a pretty bland answer. It's true. Twilight, me and my grandma were once close. And now, she's gone. Uh, how can I laugh with someone who is dead, Twilight? Uh, Applejack, uh, 
year ago, it didn't look like you cared for your grandma. Remember how you got me here that time? That was different. Why? I was... I was selfish. I wasn't prepared for the hospice life. Her losing her hearing felt like she was already gone. But now she really is gone, isn't she? Not forever, what though. What am I going to do, Twilight? Better I yet, the feeling. what are you going to do? You're probably going to outlive every pony else after a while. What's the point of life when all that is around you goes away? Why? Even dry. Oh man, another ad. Okay, we're back. Sorry, another ad interrupted. Trust me, I don't like it when ads interrupt me when I'm in the middle of reaction videos. I could get YouTube Premium to have them away for some time, but I don't need them because they don't bother me that much. Unless if they really, really annoyed me, that'd be the only reason why I would get YouTube Premium. But nonetheless, let's go continue on. We're almost done. Twilight felt tracked. She thought she knew the answer to what life meant. Maybe she needed to think about it more. Looking back on it as a young foal, she spent her time experimenting with new things and reading books. And that's all she did. Right here is where she stopped mid that and had a sub thought for the spot. If she had asked herself what life was then, what would she say? Perhaps she would say something about how reading was her life, and that she wouldn't trade it for the world. On the other hand, she would mention magic and how becoming Celestia's student was a dream come true. She tinkered with the thought for a while, but then realized she would have been able to finish Starmbeard's spell and become an Alicorn if Celestia hadn't given her the tax of preparations of Ponyville. But Twilight, as over-analytical as she was, missed something. Something that was on the tip of her snout that she couldn't conjure up until now. Applejack, what did Granny Smith do? Uh, I beg your pardon? You know very well what Granny Smith did. Just humor me. What did she do? Well, off the top of my head, she planted trees and fields to provide for her family. Not... Just her family. I remember you once told me about the first settlers. Do you know why she freely shared her crop with them? It wasn't just for money. It was to provide a need for poor ponies who needed it. That was, that's very sweet. I know that, Twy, but she's not here to do that no more. But... You are. You are here. You can still help other ponies. Twilight, I try. But, but the real help I need is my grandma alive again. <sighs> Ain't a day goes by I don't think about her, Twilight. What kind of cruel world torments me with her death? Every day. Every solicit is sent to murderous day. Applejack, the world did not do this to your grandmother. The sobbing of Applejack continued with Twilight beginning to tear up herself a bit. How could she explain it to her? Twilight didn't have to, thankfully, as Rainbow Dash just happened to show up at the gravesite with a suddenness oh. as he made a statement about her landing by striking Hello, a quick Rainbow pose. Dash. And she saw the situation. Dean? Is it get over here really that boring? Hey, R.D. No, she didn't do nothing to me. Guess I got a lot of my chest I need to get out. Darling, <gasps> Rarity. don't hold back just because of us. Hmm, Rarity from out of nowhere. Said Rarity, who had also just arrived and was watching her step while she was going. Pinkie Pie and Fluttershy are going to show up too. Goodness, this will definitely ruin my new manicure. Light up, 
Oh, there's Pinkie Pie. Santa Kiklet, Pinkie Pie, who was happy to is gonna show up too, right? The whole gang's gonna get back together. Oh, this would be, this would make Remember Applejack the first happy. Time you had to explain to me what a funeral was? I said I had no clue, and you said that it's a party, and I was like, a party? But you said it was a party to be said, and I said, what kind of party do you go to be said? And you said a funeral, and I said, fair enough, but why were you said? You said it was Applejack's mother passing away, and I was like, passing which way? Is it like a party? Pinkie just knows how to party, talk fast. Which it definitely was, even though you said there were that's no parties at funerals. Well, if that's the case, why were there people lined up to look at this weird box-looking thing? And I just said that was Granny Smith was in the casket, and I was like, oh, that looks like so much fun. I wanted to write in a casket next to you made a funny face. <laughs> We were really celebrating the end of the life of Brandon Smith. And I'm like, why do we celebrate a person who's dead, Rarity? Only you know, don't you? <laughs> Technical difficulties. End part five. What? Is that it? Oh, that is it. Oh, the Flutter Show didn't show up? Wow. Okay. I don't really know if I understood everything that Pinkie Pie said, but I tried to hear as much as I could. <laughs> <laughs> that was just wow okay <laughs> wow no fluttershy huh hey maybe hopefully in the next part maybe in the final part of chapter one maybe we'll see the whole gang we almost saw everybody we just only saw five rainbow dash rarity and pinkie pie showed up next to applejack and twilight sparkle but hey maybe hopefully we'll see fluttershy too maybe the whole gang will get back together that looks like it'll be interesting hopefully we'll see more of that in part six i mean hey really it would be pretty good if the whole gang got back together again right I think Applejack could really use that right now. Hmm, excuse me. Anyway, that's it for part five. That was, uh, a bit interesting, because the fact that they had SFM animation in this one, I kind of knew that because the thumbnail of the video pretty much showed that, so I was kind of interested to see how this one was going to go. The fact that there was SFM animation going on in this one, I'm like, this is going to get interesting, because there's SFM animation for the thumbnail in this video, and showed a bit of different stuff this time around compared to what we saw in the last few videos and all that <sighs> excuse me i'm so sorry I'm really tired but yeah alrighty, this is getting like it's going to hopefully maybe come to a interesting ending maybe hopefully it'll end in a happy ending in part six but who knows we'll have to find that out in the next video well anyway you guys i hope you enjoyed that be sure to give this a thumbs up and uh yeah share this with all your friends as well and uh i'll see you next time in the next video we're as i said we're almost done we just got to check out part six and, and hopefully the next video which will be the final part to chapter one of as the clock turns and that will conclude the series at least for now so stay tuned for the next video ladies and gentlemen but until then i'm out of here y'all i'll see you next time that'll be it for today guys if you like this video give it a thumbs up just like you give it a thumbs down Join me next time for the next video. To all you boys, men, and guys out there, fist bumps good to all of you. And to all the girls, ladies, and women out there, kiss cut to all of you. But until then, this is Joe Flash signing off. Have a good day.